What's going on wrestling fans, Unreal Entertainment Gaming here, back at it with another what if matchup. Now, what if the legendary Shawn Michaels took on Daniel Bryan? Now, I know over the last several weeks it's been an ongoing thing between Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels, but nevertheless, the question remains, what would have happened if Shawn Michaels were to take on Daniel Bryan? Now, personally for me, this is one of my dream matches. Why? Because number one, Shawn Michaels to me is one of the greatest wrestlers to ever grace a wrestling ring um, whereas in Daniel Bryan is in my opinion in my very humble opinion the best wrestler in the world today so now you have one of the best wrestlers in the world today taking on one of the best wrestlers of all time you know but the real question is what would have happened if these two were to step in the ring against one another now Shawn Michaels is no stranger to competition everybody and their mothers knows uh, who Shawn Michaels is, where he came from, all the obstacles he had to go through, all the things he had to endure to get where he's at. So Shawn Michaels definitely earned his place in the professional wrestling world. And the same thing applies to Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson coming up from Ring of Honor in the independent scenes, you know, CZW and all that, you know, trust me, I followed Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson when he was in the independent circuit, you know, taking on people like uh, Loki, um, Samoa Joe, uh, you know, working people like that you know what I mean like going up against CM Punk at an early uh, indie stage so um, Daniel Bryan is no stranger to professional wrestling Daniel Bryan has been wrestling professionally uh, way longer than he has in the WWE because the WWE likes to portray him as like this new guy and you know can he get the job done and whatnot but in fact Daniel Bryan has been doing this for well over 10 years so Daniel Bryan has experience under his belt now um, the real question is what would have happened if these two were stepping the ring against each other now this would have been amazing nevertheless this would have been the modern day eddie guerrero versus chris benoit you know what i mean like i love eddie guerrero i love chris benoit i love daniel bryan and i love Shawn michaels so you can imagine what would have happened if these two were to step in the ring you know super kicks um labelle locks and you know elbow drops and you know all sorts of stuff would have been happening so um the real question is what would have happened now the way i would have booked this match honestly i probably would have made Daniel Bryan a heel going up against a face Shawn Michaels because that would have given a uh Daniel Bryan the edge sort of say because going in there as a heel you know he doesn't really care he's gonna do a, a, anything and everything he can to win the match and being that Shawn Michaels is his mentor and his trainer you know that that speaks volumes on how how far their roots go so for me this match would be a classic five-star match now would it be the best match Daniel Bryan would ever have in the WWE perhaps so um, I feel like whoever steps in the ring with Shawn Michaels is guaranteed to have a classic five-star match. Um, Shawn Michaels is known for that. You know, he took on people like Chris Jericho. He took on Bret Hart. You know, The Undertaker, Triple H. You know, hell, even John Cena. He made John Cena look like a star, you know, at WrestleMania 23. So you can just imagine how great Shawn Michaels would make Daniel Bryan look. As you can see, kick-ups left and right. So, I mean... Everything is just vintage, you know, everything that uh, Daniel Bryan knows he learned from Shawn Michaels because he did attend a school in 1999. So, personally for me, this match would be by far the greatest match of the night, um, if possible, of the entire year. Um, but the thing is, Shawn Michaels is retired, uh, rightfully so, against an opponent like The Undertaker. I mean, shoot, if I had an opponent like The Undertaker at WrestleMania, I, I would retire as well because that is a great, great honor. You know, you don't want to cross those lines. And as of late, I mean, Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels have been getting into a little feud. But does this mean Shawn Michaels will be coming out of retirement? I highly doubt that. Um, but in the end, this match, I mean, Jesus Christ, if Daniel Bryan was the heel then i do believe that in my humble opinion the winner of this match would possibly be daniel bryan um if daniel bryan was the face then i do believe the winner would be Shawn michaels and this is why i say uh if if daniel bryan was the good guy quote unquote baby face this is why i say he would lose because i feel like he would not be able to go through with actually beating his mentor and actually getting the job done whereas as opposed to Shawn michaels is known to get the job done by any means necessary Look at that sweet chin music. Daniel Bryan is out freaking cold. Look at this. Bam, right in the face. 
Holy God. Um, but I do believe if Daniel Bryan was a heel, I do believe Daniel Bryan would go through any uh, extent, any measure that he possibly could in order to put Shawn Michaels down. Now, the way I would book this, I mean, it, it can go either way, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely I would have it to where they would uh, bring up the whole, you know, I trained you, I'm better, student versus teacher, teacher versus student, who's better, you know, who has it more, Daniel Bryan calling out Shawn Michaels, Daniel Bryan saying that how he was always better than Shawn Michaels or whatnot, how he can always, you know, do things that Shawn Michaels couldn't, and whatever Shawn Michaels did, Daniel Bryan did better, so um, basically saying, you know, whatever you could do, I could do better in a sense, so, whereas opposed to Shawn Michaels, he could say that uh, he's a legend, then he doesn't have to prove himself, and he he made Daniel Bryan, and without Shawn Michaels' guidance, you know, Daniel Bryan would be lost in this business and whatnot. So, you know, adding a lot of depth into it would actually change the, uh, the name of the game for sure. Uh, but personally, for me, I mean, you know, I, I I would love to see this match because for me personally, as a as a wrestling fan, you know, this would be one of the biggest highlights. Um, in professional wrestling to date you know and, and a, a lot of people often want to criticize wrestling oh it's this it's that you know when people don't really know what professional wrestling is and what it takes to be in that ring you know i know trust me it's not really an easy thing you know so for these two to go in there and do moon salts and elbows and you know sweet chin musics and label locks and crippler cross faces and dives and all that stuff it, it, it takes a toll on you so for these two men i do believe given the right stage a stage like Wrestlemania these two would kill each other but it would definitely be the match of the night it would definitely possibly be match of the year but my vote would be Shawn Michaels I mean I don't know there, there's just something about Shawn Michaels that I can't let go you know what I mean um Shawn Michaels made this business you know Shawn Michaels is one of the very few who helped make this business what it is today so um not no, nothing you know ta being taken away from Daniel Bryan but I do believe the winner would be Shawn Michaels on Honestly, um, I love Daniel Bryan to death. He reminds me so much of, uh, you know, some old school wrestlers that I used to watch way back in the day, like um, Chris Benoit, like a little bit of Brian Pillman with the attitude and whatnot. You know, like Daniel Bryan certainly has it. You know what I mean? Um, and, and definitely a little bit of Stone Cold because you, you can actually relate to that. You know what I mean? Like the whole yes, 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 no, no, no. That could be related to what, what. What? You know, when the audience used to cheer that when Stone Cold was around. So, looks like Shawn Michaels is setting up for a super kick. And is he going to connect it? Holy shit. Oh, wow. Daniel Bryan ducks. And bam. Holy crap. There goes Daniel Bryan. That was actually, that was awesome. I could definitely see that going down within a match. You know, super kick duck, super kick label lock, counter. Like, so many things. You know, a lot of technical wrestling. And that's what I feel like you know makes wrestling what it is today so but anyways everybody thank you all for watching this video this episode of wwe 2k14 my name is owner entertainment gaming if you guys are professional wrestling fans if you guys are wwe fans independent fans don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest you know wrestling news information and updates along with what if matches if you guys enjoyed the video please hit this video up with a thumbs up rape and sodomize that thumbs up button leave your thoughts in the comment section below guys i want to know your thoughts and opinions on this match i want to know your thoughts and your opinions on both Shawn michaels and daniel bryan let me know in the comment section below who do you think was the best to ever grace a wrestling ring do you think daniel bryan's one of the best in the business who do you think he's the best in the world let me know in the comment section below guys stay tuned for more because more is on his way check out my previous episodes and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys later peace